Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a like up. Jeopardy has gained a reputation this year for inconsistent rulings. In some cases, players lose because the show chooses to implement rules they ignored in previous shows. Other times, players win because the show ignores rules that eliminated players earlier in the season. Fans believe it happened again with Davey Morrison. This last week was the end of the season for Jeopardy. The show will remain on hiatus until the new season starts in September. However, fans head into the break thinking of all the inconsistent moments that have happened this year. This moment came when one struck ruling caused a huge $4,000 score swing in the game. The clue was Cormac McCarthy's saga of an aged female chicken caught up in a world of drugs and killers. The category was Novel Change a Letter. Davy said, What is No Country for Old Hens? Before changing it to Hen Wright, as Ken Jennings ruled that he was incorrect. The book was titled No Country for Old Men, so it had to remain singular for the title to be correct. Three Day Champ Nailish then buzzed in and said, What is No Country for Old Hen? and got it right. This means that Nailish pretty much just said what Davy had and got the win. Yet Davy lost the money. Fans on social media were not happy. Most fans understood that it ended up wrong because Davy gave the incorrect answer before he realized his error and tried to rectify it. However, as one person pointed out, when another contestant changed their answer, their first choice wasn't accepted. It is yet another inconsistent ruling for the show. G Party had a moment earlier in the season where, just like Davy, a player gave an answer but got it wrong for adding an S. In this case, Kelly Prultz had the clue, a Yosemite fall with a wispy ribbon of water that flutters in the air like a diaphanous cloth bears the name of this marital wear. She answered, what is Brittle Veil vale Falls? That was wrong because the answer was, what is Brittle Veil vale Fall? However, since the category was waterfalls with an tis, many fans wondered why it was wrong. For decades, Jeopardy has stood as the gold standard of quiz shows, a bastion of intellect and fair competition. Yet in recent months, loyal viewers have been increasingly vocal about perceived inconsistencies in the show's rulings. As the beloved game show continues to captivate audiences with its challenging questions and charismatic hosts, an undercurrent of discontent has surfaced, challenging the show's reputation for fairness. The tension began to brew subtly, with small instances of questionable rulings that went unnoticed by many. However, as these occurrences became more frequent, the grumbling among fans grew louder, echoing across social media platforms and fan forums. What started as isolated complaints soon coalesced into a broader critique of the show's adjudicative practices. The essence of the controversy lies in the perceived uneven application of rules and the handling of on-air disputes. For a game show renowned for its precision and adherence to a strict rulebook, any deviation from established protocols naturally raises eyebrows. Inconsistencies in ruling can fundamentally alter the outcome of the game, affecting not only the immediate results but also the long-term perception of fairness among viewers. One prominent example that sparked significant outrage involved the situation during a high-stakes episode where a contestant's response was deemed incorrect, despite the answer being technically accurate. The issue revolved around the phrasing of the response, which some argued was within the bounds of acceptable answers. Yet the ruling was made in a way that many felt undermined the integrity of the competition. This instance, among others, prompted an outcry from fans who questioned the criteria used to judge responses and the rationale behind the decisions made by the show's producers. Fans' frustrations were further amplified by the perception that such decisions were not always transparent. While Jeopardy has long prided itself on its adherence to a clear and fair set of rules, the opaque nature of the ruling process in these cases left many viewers feeling alienated and disillusioned. The lack of clarity about how decisions were reached and the absence of a visible appeal process only fueled the growing sense of injustice. Moreover, the inconsistency in rulings seemed to manifest itself in varying degrees of leniency towards contestants. In some instances, contestants were granted leniency or allowed to clarify their answers, while in others, similar requests were promptly denied. 
This disparity led to accusations of favoritism and bias, further exacerbating the frustration among fans who felt that the rules were being applied in an uneven manner. The issue of inconsistent rulings touches on a deeper concern about the nature of competitive fairness. Gia Party is not just a game show. It's a cultural institution that represents the pinnacle of intellectual challenge. As such, any perceived deviation from fairness strikes at the heart of what makes the show special. For many viewers, the reliability and consistency of the rules are integral to their enjoyment and engagement with the program. In response to the backlash, the show's producers have attempted to address the concerns raised by fans. Official statements have been issued, emphasizing the complexity of the judging process and the difficulty in ensuring absolute consistency in every situation. While these explanations aim to placate critics, they have done little to fully alleviate the sense of discontent among the show's most ardent followers. The controversy has also sparked broader discussions about the role of audience engagement in shaping the show's direction. As fans continue to voice their concerns, it raises questions about how shows like Jet Party should balance maintaining their established formats with adapting to feedback from their viewership. The challenge lies in ensuring that the integrity of the competition is upheld while also addressing the legitimate concerns of a dedicated fan base. The situation is a reminder of the delicate balance that game shows must maintain between adhering to their rules and responding to the evolving expectations of their audiences. While Jeopardy has built its reputation on a foundation of intellectual rigor and fairness, the current controversy highlights the need for ongoing scrutiny and adaptation to ensure that the principles of justice and consistency remain at the forefront. As Jeopardy moves forward, it faces the critical task of restoring confidence among its viewers. This will involve not only clarifying the rationale behind its rulings, but also reinforcing the transparency and fairness that have been central to its identity. By addressing these concerns head-on, the show can hope to mend the rift with its audience and reaffirm its status as the premier quiz show that values both intellectual prowess and equitable competition. The evolving discourse around Jeopardy's ruling serves as a case study in the broader landscape of audience engagement and media transparency. It underscores the importance of maintaining trust and credibility in an era where viewer expectations are ever-changing. For Jeopardy and its devoted fans, the road ahead will require a concerted effort to bridge the gap between tradition and modernity, ensuring that the spirit of fair play and intellectual challenge remains undiminished.